Well, greetings, church. Great to be with you again. And uh, if you're not sure, it's uh, Pastor John here. Nice to be with you. And I've got a six-part, that's right here, the six-part series on the armor of God. We're just going to touch uh, very shortly on some of the truths that can be found in the book of Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 6, and we'll be reading today from verses 10 through to 20. However, the other five days we'll only just touch on some important verses. So Ephesians chapter 6, verses 10 through to 20. And so if you want to just turn there in your Bible, you want to pause this recording, that's great. But if not, and you've got your Bible, shall we just open up in a word of prayer? Almighty Father, we do thank you, Lord, for the gloriousness of your grace in our lives. We thank you, Father, that as we, we gather together, we can do so in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. And so now, Lord, as we, we break bread together, we welcome you, Holy Spirit, and we do pray that through your might, we might be revealed the truth of our God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and Amen. Right, let's get into the word, shall we? Ephesians 6, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 10. And of course, as per usual, I'm reading from the Sanctified Version, the New King James Version. Finally, brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of His might. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this age, against spiritual hosts of wickedness in the heavenly places. Therefore, take up the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all, to stand. Verse 14. Stand therefore, having girded your waist with truth, having put on the breastplate of righteousness, and having shod your feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith with which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked one. And take the helmet of salvation, and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, being watchful to this end with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints and for me, that utterance may be given to me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the Gospel for which I am an ambassador in chains, that in it I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. Thank you, Father, for your word. May you reveal your truth as only you can, Lord. Amen. Right, so today we're going to talk a little bit about the belt of truth and the breastplate of righteousness. Now, God's armor here begins with the belt of truth. And this is the piece of armor which is the centerpiece that which holds the rest of the armor together. The belt of truth is Jesus. Our Lord proclaimed this about Himself. In John 14 verse 6, He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through Me. I am the way, the truth, and the life. In this day of moral relativism and no absolutes, the truth is being challenged, isn't it? Everything is fine. Everything, everything, my truth is my truth. Now, more than ever, Jesus' existence, His sovereignty, His, His sacrifice, His salvation, all are being called into question. Even those who call themselves Christians are involved and even are involved in local churches, find themselves questioning Jesus as the only way to heaven. Jesus in John 8 verse 44 called the devil a liar and the father of lies. It's clear as we read God's word that our enemies are to confuse believers and to lie to them. As Christ followers, 
We must make Jesus Christ the unequivocal Lord of our life. Putting on God's armor starts by giving our lives to Jesus every day, church. Just, just this day, uh, before I recorded this, this message, um, I had a, a, an interesting uh, discussion surrounding someone that we know that is a, a Christ follower. And sometimes you can, you can read books that can really take you off target. That can be very, very destroying to your Christian walk. Putting on God's armor starts by giving our lives to Jesus. Not just one day, not just a particular day, every day. Worshipping Him. Dying to our own agendas. And, listen to this, our, our own preconceived ideas and plans. And then calling Him Master. Calling Him Father. Calling Him Holy Spirit. Knowing that He is the one. Who fits us for the battle. Isn't that just a wonderful piece of challenge? God is our tailor. He fits us for battle. The second piece of armor is the breastplate of righteousness. The Lord God Almighty would have us guard our hearts. You see, church, our hearts are the wellsprings of life and out of the overflow of our hearts, we speak and we act. You've heard pastors speak of asking Christ into your heart. Well, as believers, we are to daily pour God's word into our hearts. So that we might not sin against God. I also believe that our hearts are a storehouse, if you will, for God's love. And the enemy would love to steal this precious commodity. He would love to steal. As we open our hearts to him and let his love flow in and out from us, our hearts are strengthened and our hearts are encouraged. Colossians 1.17 says this, And he is before all things, and in him all things consist. As we open our hearts, to Jesus Christ and we let His love, the love of Christ, flow in and out from us. Our hearts are strengthened and indeed are encouraged. So church, don't you want to put on the breastplate of righteousness today? Don't you want to put on that breastplate of righteousness? And remember the, the glorious belt of truth that Christ has for us. I hope this challenge leaves you with exactly that a challenge. Shall we close with a word of prayer? And let's trust God to do something great over our lives today. Father God, we give you glory and honor. We thank you, Lord, that your word is the source of our strength. Father, we do pray that we'll be able to put on the armor, that we'll put on the belt of truth, that we'll realize that Jesus is our truth teller. And Father, as we put on your breastplate, Lord, your breastplate of righteousness, may it be found acceptable and pleasing to you, Lord, and may we walk with a God over our hearts, indeed the wellspring of our life. So may you go before us today as your word proclaims. And Lord, above all, may you receive the glory. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. Great, that's number one of six done. See you tomorrow, church.